We are officially getting a new bridge. And this is a project that I've been reporting on for at least eight years. If you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the Middle Thoroughfare Bridge. This is the bridge located between Two Mile Landing and then kind of goes over the sound towards Cape May Harbor and then towards Cape May. That is now towards where Port is or where the Mad Viking. This bridge has been a problem for us for a very long time. And since I want to go all the way back to 2015, there was always plans to replace this bridge, but it became one of the most probably expensive projects for Cape May County when it comes to these bridges, costing $350 million. This bridge is 86 years old. And finally, we now have plans and blueprints and a video to share with you what this new bridge is going to look like. And now that I have all of these images from the Cape May Commission, we can now sit down and go through them together. So I figured right now, let's go ahead and break it down. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn to notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons and my sponsors. They are, by the way, located at the end of this video. If you want to support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. It is official, everyone. We now have new pins for 2025. We already have the other dozen online, but I want to introduce you guys with these ones right here. The Wawa W American flag one, which I absolutely love. We also have this as a car decal. And this one right here of Maury's Mariners Pier. You can see the Ferris wheel, the sea serpent, Wildwood right behind me. And it's sort of like this view, but on the other side. If you want these, go ahead and click the link in the description below. And pretty soon we'll have our Christmas ornaments in. So for this video, obviously you can see that we are inside the studio, but I'm going to transfer you all the way over to my computer where we're going to break down what exactly is happening here. Now, for those who don't know, this right here is the middle thoroughfare bridge. It's one of the very few left of the draw bridges that still opens and closes every single day since we do have right here one of the largest, actually it is the largest, I think, in New Jersey when it comes to fisheries, LUDs and all of that. And this new plan will replace about 2.7 miles worth of this track or this entire roadway in which we're going to see it start here. Two mile landing is right here on the right hand side. This is the bridge. And so this new bridge and this new road will bypass all the fisheries, kind of go under the pathway up this way before joining in with the main road here. And it's one thing to kind of see it from Google Earth. But now we've got a couple photos, a few different things that we can actually look at. Now, I just want to break down one thing. This is that bridge that we constantly have issues with. Whether it's stuck open, stuck closed, the mechanisms aren't working. At this very moment, we're kind of on borrowed time. Remember, last year, we didn't even know it was going to be open for the holidays. And so... When the summer came by and we had those issues, we're like, oh, you can't drive this way. And that obviously hurts businesses and such. But they fixed it. They got the gears working, the motor going. It's just, once again, this is on borrowed time. And so there is a new plan to have this replaced, hopefully within the next eight years. I know what you're saying. Wait a minute. Eight years? It's a $350 million project. There's a lot that needs to go on here. First is, remember, this bridge needs to be at a height in which the ships can go under. The ships, I think at the max, are 65 feet. I think that's where we're topping out at. Keep in mind, high tide and things like that. So that's where you got to be. This bridge will be sitting at 80 feet. So it will definitely help out. And we don't really expect that these ships get any bigger, but it does give them maybe eight more feet of height. I really don't think they're going to get any bigger than this. But there's a few things we need to break down. The official movement of this next part of the bridge was presented during a July 8th meeting in which we're finding out that, yes, they're going to be replacing and improving 2.7 miles of the roadway. They're going to replace two additional lower bridges, the two that kind of connect us all the way once we get past the fisheries, and then a new fixed span bridge at an 80-foot maximum height 
once again, so that these ships can go in and out. We were presented with a few different things. One was a weird side angled of an actual like blueprint of it, uh, which is something that we can kind of look at and you're looking at it right now. And you can see once again, how it kind of curves underneath of the fishery before then going back up and meeting up on the other side of the marina. And you're gonna have that fork on the road where you can either curve right to go to the fisheries if you're coming from Wawa Crest, Diamond Beach, Lower Township, uh, or go left and head towards Cape May. You can see here the span of how high this thing is going to be. Remember, they still dredge that pretty much every single year so that these ships are okay getting in and out. This way, we don't have to worry about motors and things breaking. They can just kind of go underneath with no problem whatsoever. But the important thing that you need to look at is the video in which we did obtain a copy of it from the county. Before we break down the full video frame by frame, I wanted to play the whole video for you. And then we could talk about everything that I've seen. And maybe if there's something that I missed, you could let me know in the comment section below. So take a look at the video. Before we start the actual video, just so that we get everyone's bearings right, it's going to start off looking towards Cape May. This is the Canyon Club and Resort. You can kind of see the marina in the background, the buildings out front, um, and it's going to pan towards where the fisheries are. So we'll start the video and I'll pause it as we go. You can see we still have one lane going each way. You pan over. This is where now the Mad Viking is. In the background you can see Port. This looks like one of those two bridges that will be replaced. You can see how they're panning over. That is, I believe, port in the background. It used to be the old harbor view, so if you don't know your restaurants because some of these are new, that's what you're looking at. They're going to replace that roadway, which you know as much as I do, when you're driving on it, you feel like you're going to either hit the wall or the car next to you. Next in the video, they're going to share this bridge. This now moves us into where that split or that fork in the road kind of comes in which you'll notice that now it becomes two lanes heading east. And the reason for that is because the left lane becomes the turning lane in case you want to go to the fisheries or something over there because there's a restaurant, there's a few other things you can go ahead and check out. So the left lane will be the turning left lane and then the right lane will be the continuation onto the bridge in which you'll see that's the foot of the bridge. You do see where even if you're coming, say, west, you can make that right. It's only one lane since you have to go right there. Uh, that intersection also allows that if you are coming from the fisheries, there's another bridge in the background. That bridge is also being replaced. That is the one of two of the low lane bridges that will be replaced. Um, you could also go from the fisheries right onto that other main road where it merges into one lane. And then as we kind of pan over, you'll see one of those low lane bridges. That's actually the second one. Uh, that's the one closest to the fisheries. And in the background, you can see this monster of a bridge. The one is going 80 feet up there. It does look kind of intimidating from this angle. And the only reason why I say it does look intimidating is because there really is nothing to compare it to over there. There's, there's no buildings or anything behind it. So it, it is going to stick out just a little bit. Um, but, you know, this is, this is definitely a better plan than what we have now, which is we, we can't keep that bridge going. I know it looks really cool. 
I love the old feel of it. It just doesn't really work out. So um, I know some people have complained in the comment section of some of the other reports we did on it. That's like, oh, this is going to look really out of place. Well, this is a bridge that's going to last a hundred and something years. So we need to be tall for whether it be climate change or a change of design for ships. So yeah, this is what the future of this bridge is going to look like. Uh, so we're going to pan up. You'll see on the left-hand side, we have the fisheries. Uh, you see, we've got the restaurant over here. This part section here at the end, uh, I, I don't really know if you're going to be able to go fishing. Like if it's going to be something like the Grassy Sound Bridge where they could turn it into a fishing pier. Um, I'm kind of hoping so. I would love the fish right there. I mean, we already fish on the beach, but imagine having a pier to go over that. I think that would be so awesome. But you can once again see the span of this bridge going over that entryway, it does, once again, does look, does look very, very tall. Uh, but you pan over, we're going to see and fly over the direction of this bridge as though we're riding on top of it. You can see in the middle here, that is going to be the protection. So when ships, A, they know that's the way they're going to go, and B, they don't lose any kind of, uh, like say if they lose propulsion, they try to, or not they try, if something happens where they potentially could slam into a pole, this protects that. There's a lot of footings like that to make sure that we don't have issues like that. Because uh, we have had that in the past, unfortunately. And then you continue over the roadway before curving towards Two Mile Landing. Which you can see Two Mile Landing over here. You've got parasailing in the background. They also have these beautiful trees in here. I don't, I don't think we have those kind of trees. <laughs> here you can see the bridge from the side angle in which there are different heights, obviously, at the top of it, which is sort of in the middle here, that's 80 feet. I don't know what it is over where the ships are. I mean, I, I was told this was to be 80. Um, not really quite sure. All I know is that they said they're going to have like 15 feet to play around with when it comes to these ships passing under it, so... That works well for all of us. This here, I want to pause for you. This is on the quote-unquote Diamond Beach slash Wawa Crest part of it, in which, you know, like someone like me, I like pulling over here and going crabbing underneath. Uh, there is going to be a pull-off area, because some people were concerned about that. Like, wait a minute, are you going to be able to? At least according to this, there is. You can see as you come down, there is a two-lane here to turn left to this little parking lot. Uh, which could also just mean that it's leading up to the parasailing place. Um, but I'm sure from what we're seeing that you're going to be able to probably get over to the other side to go fishing. Something which, once again, someone like me, I, I do want to go ahead and fish in that. Uh, pausing here, you can see, once again, where the ships will be going down the middle. It's a protected area, and it would definitely be at the height it needs, or the depth it needs to be at. Before flying back over, and then... Boom, there, there's the fisheries. There's not a pier to go fishing there, but I'm just like how someone, we, we fish off the side. So I'm assuming they're gonna allow that. This is just, once again, just showing you the bridge part. Now you've seen it, let me know what you think. I am, um, I, I'm very excited for this actually, just because there's a lot of issues when it comes to these bridges. Uh, the, the one question though I do have is, will this be a toll bridge? I say this because I didn't see anything in the notes just yet. I mean, it probably is somewhere. I just haven't read it yet. But right now, it's a toll bridge to go over. Is this going to be a bridge like the Grassy Sound in which it just, you know, you just go over it? I don't know. That's something that I think I need to... Uh, I'll probably reach out to the um, the county. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is because it's managed by the, the Cape May Bridge Commission. Cape May County Bridge Commission. I'll get back to you on that. I'll probably... By the time this video goes online, it'll probably be updated in the article because I have an article alongside this. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. If you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you guys on the beach. Always a winner and always a prize. That's right, guys. Who's up? Who's next? Who's ready? We've got a winner every day. We've got a prize every single time. Always a winner and always a prize. That's right, guys. Who's up? Who's next? Who's ready to play? Who's going to be our next? Who's up?